Have you ever wondered what it would be like to revisit the past through the lens of television? When was the first time you watched the TV series The Master? This gripping show, which first aired in 1984, took viewers on a journey through time, blending history and adventure in a unique way. The series featured the talents of Lee Van Cleef and Timothy Van Patten, with their charismatic portrayal of an aging ninja and his young apprentice. The question arises, out of the many roles in this TV series, which one was your favorite? As you think back on your experience with the master, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the show? Whether it's a moment that left you in awe or a memory that made you laugh, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some intriguing random facts about the show that may surprise you. The Master might not be as well known as some other TV series from its time, but it certainly has its own unique charm and appeal. From its martial arts action to its intriguing plots, there's much to uncover. Share your thoughts and memories and let's explore this series together. Your experiences and insights are what make the world of television come alive. So, don't hold back and tell us you're the Master Stories. The Master is a short-lived 1984 TV series that centers around John Peter McAllister, portrayed by Lee Van Cleef, a retired ninja master who journeys to the United States to find his estranged daughter, only to become embroiled in various adventures. Despite its brief run of just 13 episodes, the show left a mark with its unique fusion of martial arts, drama, and Western elements. McAllister's character, a stoic and wise mentor, and his young apprentice Max Keller, played by Timothy Van Patten, provided a compelling dynamic. The series' blend of ancient martial arts wisdom with modern-day settings was innovative for its time and contributed to the popularization of martial arts in American culture. Although it didn't achieve enduring mainstream success, the master has earned a cult following and is remembered for its distinctive style and memorable characters. The 1984 TV series The Master revolves around the character Akasa, a former pupil of John Peter McAllister. Akasa aims to become the master ninja, and his backstory explains why he relentlessly pursues McAllister. After McAllister leaves Japan to search for his long-lost daughter in the United States, Akasa continuously tracks them, attempting to kill McAllister. The show kicks off with a distinctive glowing red ninja star, the same one that Akasa uses to attack McAllister in the pilot episode. He later gives the star to Max Keller, marking its significance throughout the series. A notable departure from traditional ninja attire is Akasa's costume, worn by Shokasugi. Unlike the attire seen in previous ninja films like Enter the Ninja and Revenge of the Ninja, this costume features metal chains around the hood and calves, resembling more of a medieval knight than a classic Japanese ninja. The only similarity it shares with typical ninja attire is its black color. These intriguing elements add depth and suspense to the master, making it a unique and captivating series from 1984. The 1984 TV series The Master stirred up controversy in the UK as it was blamed for a sudden interest in ninja-throwing stars among teenage boys. During the mid 80 seconds, teachers reported an upsurge in confiscating poor-quality homemade stars made in metalwork classes. This unexpected trend was a consequence of the show's portrayal of martial arts and ninja culture. The Master was broadcast on NBC in January 1984 and starred Demi Moore in its pilot episode. Coincidentally, Demi Moore also appeared in the film Blame It on Rio, which was released around the same time as the TV series. Additionally, Sho Kasugi, a prominent figure in the martial arts world, served as both Lee Van Cleef's stunt double on some episodes and handled the stunt work for the show. This added depth to the action sequences in The Master. These aspects provide a unique perspective on the show's impact and behind-the-scenes workings. The Master, a TV series from 1984, featured Oscar winner Bill Conti composing its main theme music. Interestingly, Conti also created the original score for the hit film, The Karate Kid, released in the summer of 1984, coinciding with the end of The Master in August of the same year. The show centered around Lee Van Cleef's character, a ninja. In contrast to the secrecy associated with ninjas, Van Cleef's character often appeared in his ninja uniform in public, such as a Halloween party in the episode Out of Time Step, in Kanoichi. 
This led to his arrest and his picture being posted on the front page of a newspaper, creating an unusual twist in the world of ninjas. Another intriguing aspect was the butterfly medallion worn by McAllister on the show. This medallion symbolized his family in Japan, and any ninja who managed to kill him could claim it as a true master, thereby destroying his family legacy. The only time the medallion was taken from McAllister was by the female ninja, Allison Grant, who wore it until McAllister reclaimed it after foiling her assassination attempt in the episode Kanoichi. These unique elements added depth and intrigue to the TV series, making it a memorable part of 1984 Seconds Entertainment landscape. In the 1984 TV series The Master, a unique narrative element was introduced. In every episode following the pilot, a recap of Lee Van Cleef's character backstory was provided, along with a flashback to the same scene from the pilot episode. These recaps were narrated by Timothy Van Patten and seamlessly blended into the latest episode. This creative storytelling approach added continuity to the series and kept viewers informed about the character's background. Additionally, the episode titled Kanoichi held a surprising revelation. One of the villains, Allison Grant, who posed as a reporter, was unveiled as a female ninja in training. This twist added depth to the character and showcased the complexity of the show's antagonists. After this series aired, Sho Kasugi, who played a prominent role in The Master, would go on to battle a possessed female ninja in the movie Ninja 3, The Domination, portraying the hero rather than the villain, as seen in the TV series. Furthermore, an interesting casting coincidence occurred in the episode Failure to Communicate. Ashley Ferrier, who appeared in this episode, also starred in Revenge of the Ninja, where Sho Kasugi played the main villain. Intriguingly, in The Master, her character's name was Kathy, while in Revenge of the Ninja, her character's name was Kathy, creating an amusing parallel between the two projects. These unique aspects of The Master contributed to its distinctiveness within the television landscape of 1984, making it a memorable and engaging series for viewers. The TV series The Master from 1984 was a mid-season replacement by NBC. Many of its episodes were filmed in 1983, and the show was released in the winter of 1984. This action-packed series featured Lee Van Cleef in the role of The Master. Interestingly, Lee Van Cleef, who played the titular character, had previously appeared in another martial arts-themed production, The Octagon, alongside Chuck Norris. In the Octagon, the main villain was a rogue ninja portrayed by Tadashi Yamashita. One fascinating fact about the master is that if the show had continued, Timothy Van Patten, who played the character Max Keller, would have become a ninja. Throughout the series, Lee Van Cleef's character, the master, indirectly trained Max Keller, imparting martial arts knowledge and skills, with Max learning most of the master's moves. In summary, The Master was a 1984 TV series that aired as a mid-season replacement by NBC, with many episodes filmed in 1983. The show featured Lee Van Cleef, who also appeared in the octagon alongside Chuck Norris, which had a rogue ninja as its main antagonist. Additionally, the series hinted at Timothy Van Patten's character becoming a ninja if it had continued due to the training he received from The Master. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the intriguing world of the master, it's time to reflect on the personal connections that this iconic 1984 TV series has fostered. In the ever-expanding tapestry of television history, the master stands as a unique thread, weaving memories and emotions for each of us. Did you marvel at the martial arts mastery of Lee Van Cleef? Were you entranced by the enigmatic charm of Timothy Van Patten? Perhaps you were drawn into the gripping adventures of John Peter McAllister, whose wisdom and skills left an indelible mark. The Master isn't just a show, it's a time machine that transports us back to an era when entertainment had the power to captivate and inspire. It's a testament to the enduring allure of classic storytelling and the magnetic pull of characters who transcend generations. Now, as you ponder your personal connection with the Master, we invite you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about this series. What episodes still resonate with you? Which characters have stayed with you throughout the years? Your insights can breathe new life into the legacy of the Master and connect us through our shared appreciation for this masterpiece. Thank you for taking this journey with us and for being a part of the, the Master community. 
Your time and interest are truly appreciated, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts and memories. Keep the conversation alive, and let's continue to celebrate the timeless magic of the Master.